Hey everyone, Neverchild Tech here and today I would like to show you how you can downgrade the custom firmware on your Nintendo Switch. So right in front of me I do have a Switch OLED but this model of this method will also work for the Switch Lite, the Switch LCD version 2 and Switch Lite or the regular Switch version 1. So I also have a regular Switch prior to June 2018 so this is a Switch LCD version 1. And this guide will work for all versions of Nintendo Switch. So what we actually want to do is if we go to system settings, you can see that I'm currently running a latest release of the Nintendo firmware, which is 18.0.0. But sometimes when you update the firmware of your Nintendo Switch, homebrew applications may not work and they need to be updated in order to support the latest custom firmware. A good example of this is, for example, um, the Mission Control application. So Mission Control allows you to pair PlayStation and Xbox controllers to your Nintendo Switch without a dongle. But sometimes it takes the developer a while to update the homebrew application to support the latest firmware version. So in this video, what we want to do is we want to downgrade our system version of our custom firmware. So in this case, I'm going to downgrade from version 18.0.0 to 17.0.1. And to do so, we actually need a few applications. But first things first, we need to power off the switch and make sure to download the necessary files onto our micro SD card. So you can either power off your Nintendo Switch or you can simply reboot it into the Hackety bootloader interface if you're using Hackety prior to booting the Atmosphere custom firmware. So in my case, it reboots my switch to Hackety and then you can eject the micro SD card from your Nintendo Switch and again this will work for the Switch OLED, the Switch Lite and the newer and older versions of the Switch LCD and then you want to grab a micro SD card adapter and plug this into your PC and if you do not have a large micro SD card if you don't have a micro SD card adapter or USB cables or whatever you want to have for the switch there are some affiliate links in the video description and if you use those it will help this channel out massively so thank you in advance uh, but just uh, insert the micro SD card into your PC for now and what we want to do is first of all make sure that the custom firmware files that we're using are up to date so in my case I'm using the hats package so this is just a pre-compiled zip file which includes Hackety, Atmospheric, Tinfile and Signature patches and um, version 1.7.0-2 has just been released and this supports up to firmware version 18.0 but as I said if you're using homebrew applications that have not been updated yet to support the latest firmware then you may still want to downgrade your firmware. So in my case, I will downgrade my switch to 17.0.1. So what you need to do is you need to do a quick Google search uh, to a Nintendo Switch firmware. Just enter, enter that and then you should see a website listing all the firmware files for the Nintendo Switch, including the firmware that you want to downgrade to. So you can also downgrade to an, an older release of the Nintendo Switch firmware. In my case, I'm just showcasing firmware version 17.0.1. And if you're using the hats package, you will also have a Daybreak. So Daybreak is a homebrew application that we are going to use to actually downgrade our Nintendo Switch and install any firmware files on our Switch. So make sure if you do not use hats to still download that zip file and extract the daybreak on a row file into your Switch folder. And if you're using hats, then this should come uh, pre-installed. So once you've got these files, so the updated custom firmware files, as well as the firmware of choice that you want to downgrade to uh, installed on your micro SD card, you can unplug your micro SD card from your PC and you can plug it back into your Nintendo Switch, like so. And then your Switch should reboot or reload rather Hackety. Then you can go to launch. Again, go to custom firmware MUMC, in my case, since I'm running the custom firmware from my micro SD card. So just give it a few seconds here to boot back into the Atmosphere custom firmware and then we can actually update our firmware or actually downgrade our firmware in this case. Um, so there we are. We can unlock our Nintendo Switch and now if we go to the homebrew menu, you should see the Daybreak application. So open it up, hit install and then you want to select the folder containing your firmware files and I forgot to mention this when we were back on our PC. But what you want to do is you want to create 
a new folder on your micro SD card called firmware version whatever you have just like I have right here and then you want to drag and drop all the NCA files that are included in the firmware.zip file that you've downloaded and extract those NCA files into the folder on your micro SD card then you want to hit A and now it will validate the contents of the firmware that you've just downloaded so it sees that this is firmware version 17.0.1 we can hit continue. We can click preserve settings or go back to our factory settings. I just want to preserve everything. And then you can either choose to only install the factory 2 driver or install both the factory 2 and XFAT driver for the micro SD card. And even though I'm using a factory 2 micro SD card, I choose the option that also includes XFAT support. Then hit continue right here. And again, it will prepare the update first. So again, it will check all the NCA files inside the firmware folder and then it will actually install the firmware and uh, we'll not skip this part so you can actually see how long it takes and you can see whether your switch is stuck or not so it's actually already installing the firmware onto a micro sd card preparing the update and this should only take a matter of seconds it will apply the update for us and the firmware files are only around 320 megabytes so as you can see it didn't take that long update applied successfully and now we can reboot our Nintendo Switch. And again, this will boot us back into the Hackerty bootloader interface, at least if you're using the HATS package. Then you can go back to launch right here, select custom firmware MUMMC. And now what should happen, we should be greeted by an older system version. So in my case, firmware version 17.0.1, but we still should have the latest custom firmware files with all the latest hungry applications. So for example, if you have a homebrew application that did not work or does not work with firmware version 18, but it does work with firmware version 17, for example, then you can use this method. And now since we've downgraded our system firmware, you should be able to actually use that homebrew application. So I can actually show you what happened. So if I go all the way down right here to system version, you can see that our system version has indeed been downgraded to 17.0.1, but we're still using the latest release of Atmosphere version 1.7.0-E, uh, so the E stands for MUMC. So I'm using the latest Atmosphere release on an older system version. And again, you can also use an older package of hats, or uh, you can just download an older release of Atmosphere that supports the firmware that you've just downgraded to, but just be sure to first of all, either up or downgrade your system firmware before going back to an older version of Atmosphere. Because as you could see at the start of this video, I was running the latest custom firmware release, the latest system version. And if you then, first of all, uh, go back to an older version of Atmosphere that does not support firmware version 18.0, for example, then your switch cannot boot back to the custom firmware. So make sure to first of all, have the latest custom firmware files included then downgrade your system version and then if you experience any problems with the latest release of atmosphere you can go back to for example version 1.6.2 and use all hungry applications that were supported on that firmware release so yeah that's basically the guide for today so this showed you how you can downgrade your nintendo switch to an older system version i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos guys peace out